Nobody, there's nobody around today on one acre farm and um, I'm realizing that I need to finish this deer hide and so uh, this is the process where it's been soaked in a bucket of water. There's another part of it down there that I'll show you in a minute. And this is how you take hair off of it. It's been soaked in water for, I don't know, quite a few days. But look how easily it comes off, like a week or ten days. And you can make that happen a little faster by adding some lye to it. And then this is all in soil enrichment materials. So that's going in a separate bucket, and we'll figure out where we want to bury the hair. Hair is good for some things. And... Um, so it just comes off like that when it's been soaked long enough. And all of this below here will be a rawhide. In other words, it hasn't been tanned. That's the definition of rawhide. It hasn't been tanned. And if you tan it, then you can't use it for a drum or anything like that. So um, it's really very easy to do. Say with one thumb, you can pull off large amounts of it. And then if it dries, then it'll stick in. And it doesn't come out very well at all. So when you see those djembes and other drums that have a bit of hair around them, they did that on purpose. They put, they took off the hair just in one part of it, and they left the rest of it in there. So this is very smooth. And then when you finish doing that work, there may be fleshing that needs to be done on the back, which is taking off this stuff, which is called the fascia or the fascia that holds the muscle. This is part of the muscle and it just slips right off and then it looks almost the same on both sides but this side will have a different texture than the top side. You'll always be able to tell which was the top. See and you just pull that off of there and that takes a lot of work and all of this stuff that's left over the dogs eat or whatever they want to do with that or you can send it to the landfill if that's what you do but don't put it in your compost bucket because it will bring animals to eat it so if you spread it out in the field that's one thing they're not going to come looking to eat deer here in, in the garden but if you put something like that the pieces that are left from this this part is uh, the neck of the deer and so it's taken off I haven't worked on it yet and there's a lot of meat on it because it was late and dark and hard to do but this is the neck that's where the head was and it's inside out right now and I haven't done this and then I leave a strip attached to it this strip right here is the um, will be the strap of the bag and this the neck will become a bag by putting a circular part in this and that'll be fringed and you can sort of see what it'll look like see it'll hang down like that on the outside and have fringe on it and this piece will be cut off because this will become the um, the strap that goes up at the top and this part right here will come over and be the closing part with a button on it like that See, so that'll be one side. I hope I'm getting this good enough on here. I... See, that's the, that'll be the closing part, and so the fastener or the button will be in that section. You flip it out of the way, and the strap will be fastened on there and there on the sides, and then this will be fringed down here, and that's from the neck of the deer. And you can make a lovely buckskin bag out of the neck. Then we've got the rest of it. And down here on some of these tough little leg parts is where I'll make rattles. And that's what I'm looking to have so I can stitch rattles while I'm traveling in the car. And so I'm going to clean up those pieces and put them into a bag uh, with some paper towels or probably something, some brown paper, and take it traveling with me. So I just thought I would share this information because this is a beautiful... Um, buck, a uh, young year old buck, and it's going to be a lovely hide, and I didn't know how long it would be till I could show this to people who often ask me, what do you mean the hair slips off? <laughs> this is what I mean. So, it's one acre farm, and it's uh, about mid-December here. Copyright Three Sisters Planting dot info.